All right, guys, so I made it to the location. This is called the Autorama inside the city of Detroit. It's just a big old classic car show that has all type of old school cars, you know. But I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys some nice cars that I have to offer for you guys. See you in a minute. So guys, this right here is a 1965 Chevy C10 pickup truck. Very nice, you see it has the very big, deep tire wells, nice candy red paint. Let's get a shot at the motor. It has a beautiful motor. Beautiful. Motor sticks out the hood and everything. Very nice, classic, real good paint. This is all the specs that's on the car. You guys want to pause the video. I'm going to get you guys a couple cinematic shots of other nice cars. I heard there were a couple um, Dodge Hellcat Red Eyes, Wild Body Hellcats, Wild Body Daytona Hellcats. Yeah, this is a very nice, clean-looking Chevy pickup truck. Oh, and the door comes out the other way, too. Yeah, very nice and smooth. Very aftermarket seats. Somebody drew a good painting of this car, too. I don't know if there's any guys that like bikes on my channel, but this is a very, very nice bike. Very, very nice bike. Very nice. Got the, like, peanut butter, white and black finish going on. The saddlebags. Pretty nice, honestly. I have never really been a bike person, but I always think I would get one in the near future, of course. I don't know what the I don't know what this is, honestly. You got a real big tire, so I'm guessing it got an airlift suspension. Motors in the front. It looks very nice. So if I has an airlift suspension, that's why it's so close to the ground. So imagine it's sitting real high in the air. It has like a Jeep front end to it, honestly. Nice tuck down, like an LS motor in there. Oh, the steering wheel on this side, that's something very different. All right, now guys, this is a 1971 Chevy Nova. Very nice. Looks like it has a nice little turbo on it. Is it twin turbo? No, not twin turbo, just single turbo. It has some nice street rims. Nice full black on black interior. Very nice and clean. This is very beautiful. Black on black always looks good, especially from the sunlight and does natural lighting, period. Carbon fiber hood at the top. You see how the hood goes up and not comes out? Very nice carbon fiber hood. Very nice. Motor's all sh and polished and cleaned up real nice. I look at this, guys. This is a Ford Super Duty F550 truck. V8 power show. Super dude, this is very clean. Look at just look at the texture of it. Very, very nice. Nice tin the windows, and it's carrying a big, big Jeep. Very beautiful, deep rims. Big like mud, bulky, big tires. It's very nice. It has this same type of paint or I don't know what you guys want to call it, but on that same Jeep up there, which is very nice. It has the LID lights up there. Um, yeah, pretty much this is very nice. Honestly, I would have this, honestly, as a big truck. Would you guys have it? Yes or no? Leave it inside the comment section down below. Now, this is a 1953 Morris Minor. It has a very big Hoosier on the back. Nice candy red paint. Now, this car, the motor still sticks out the hood and has a little uh, mini bike, whatever you want to call it. It's a motor down there. Very, very nice. Has the bud catcher intake. Nice, beautiful paint on these type of cars they have here. Nice, unbelievable paint. These paint jobs have to be worth thousands of dollars. You can just tell how easily it's, it's just glowing off the light, you know? Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had this car in the previous video of mine. This is the old car that I had before in one of my old videos when I first started. The video is still up. I'm going to leave a card mark in the top right hand corner if you want to check that out. This is a very, very nice Camaro. Very nice Camaro. Very low profile and everything. Nice. Oh, look at the rose gold lip on it. That looks very, very nice. The glass paint job looking is just very nice, I swear. I would take one of these or any kind of nice classic muscle car over a scat pack, a Hellcat, anything. Because these just hold value. You will never lose value with one of these cars. 
very nice clean motor. It looks like it's fuel injected, you know. Very nice. Nice candy paint. Of course. Another LS And that's what I like about this type of convention, because people take their hard-earned money, make these cars very suitable for people like me to come pay and look at it and everything. The cars are very waxed and very polished. It takes a long time to get your car in one of these conventions. That's for people that don't know that know about this. You can't just, you know, pull your car in and you have to go through inspections. You have to, it's like a year waiting list. So these guys that have got their cars in here now have been waiting since last year or even longer, you know. But this is a good show. Everybody just can't get their car in here. It just won't happen like that. And that's just how it is. Now I'm not gonna be biased with y'all because I rock with y'all. We do have a ricer here. We do have a nice clean little ricer. This is a 2000 Integra. Carbon fiber doors. You no. Know, look, big old big tire in the front. Very nice. The driver. Very cool. Very cool. Now we have a big lifted truck. What is this? 2008 Dodge Ram 3500. Look at those wheels. Oh my god. Suspension. This just looks crazy. I'm gonna get a picture from the back because this is very big. Like, very, very big. Would you guys want one of these? Would you guys drive one on a daily basis? Look at that exhaust pipe. I see we have a lot of big lifted trucks. We usually don't have a lot of big lifted trucks. And this is a Cummins turbo diesel truck. It has nice big rims in the front. Nice like black and green kind of paint. I don't know if it's a wrap or not, but now this is a what? 2019 Ram 2500. Now we have a 2018 Camaro with the nice paint. It's like blue and purple. What is this at? 2018 Camaro or nice Ruchis. Uh, I believe this is a 2SS, I believe so. Nice motor. Very killer paint job. Looks very nice. Hit from all different types of angles. Nice. This is the older style charger. This looks very, very wicked. Got like a Hellcat rooms on there. It looks very crazy. It has a turbo sign right there. So it might be turbo. It's definitely have something done to it from by the looks of it. What's inside the trunk? Okay, very nice. Now, I don't know if I have any professional drag races I watch on my channel, but look at this. It has a big, massive tire in the back. You know, nice. What is this? A 2002 Chevy S10 pickup truck. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Now, this truck looks like it's really, really fast. Like, really fast. Ooh, okay. So it's a 400 cubic inch motor, nine inch rear end. Now the fastest car has ever been is 1021 at 130 miles per hour, which isn't too bad for a nice truck like this, really. Look at this Mustang GT, look at, oh my God, those rims look very beautiful. The rims look like it matches the top of the car. Very nice convertible, 1985 Mustang GT. I don't know pretty much about a lot of these cars, the owners don't really have a lot of detail because these cars are really grudge raced and raced. So you can't let let everybody know what's going on. So I could just show y'all. I don't really know too much about it really. But I can give you guys some of the details. In fact, it's pretty much stock interior, stock gauges, like the car came in 85. Yeah, nice. Oh, he has a couple tanks in the trunk. I don't know. I'm guessing. Look at this 1965 Chevy Impala. Oh my God, it looks very nice. Very, very nice with the peanut butter interior too. Oh my God. And it sits so low. Very, very nice. Just look how polished these, look how long it took and how much work these guys put in their cars to have it this polished and this shiny. That is just amazing. Look at the tail lights. I love the back end of this car. It's kind of long looking, but man, it's a nice classic car. I would drive this if I had it, of course. Of course I had to show you guys OJ Simpson. Now guys, this is a 1986 Buick Regal. Look at those nice aftermarket rims. This is the tent 
and everything looks so crazy. This might be the best car in here so far. I very much like the Buick Regals. Very much. Nice, beautiful car. Look at the paint. How shiny it is. I like how they went with the black stripe back here. The matte black stripe. It really throws the car together. Very nice, clean back of the car. The car is very spectacular. I like the little rims. Like, the rims like this looks very good on cars that doesn't, I don't know. It's just something about this type of car that I've always liked. Very nice Rucci rims. These are some of the details that the guy that owns the car put out for everybody to know. Look at this SRT8. Jeep, this is very nice. Very nice. Look, just the matte wrap and the black top is very nice. Now we have this Hellcat. 2015 Sublime Green Hellcat. It's very nice. Has the red light up. Okay. Oh, the SRT badge lights up too. It's got to have an SRT, you know, leg maker intake. Cold air intake, which you guys will probably know it as. Oh my God, look what we just come across. Dodge Demon. Very nice. Wild body kit. This car has like over 840 horsepower. Like, this is very amazing. Look at the paint on it. Oh my God, look. Just glorious. This, this is very nice. Look, just look at the paint and how it just shines. Man. The wheels are aftermarket and very, very deep inside. Very deep dish rims, as you would call it. Oh my God, very beautiful. Burgundy with like a gold trim. This is nice. Now this has to be owned by the same owner. Here's a quick look at the motor. Now they do have, what is this, a scat? They turn around, scat pack on the fuel tank. So it has to be because they have the same kind of color scene. I don't know if they're brother or sister or brother and brother, but somehow there's just no coincidence. They have to be related somehow. Both outcomes are very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Look, just look at the paint, you know? The paint tells it all if the guys take care of the car or not. Just look at this. You can see the full blown motor. Back there, this is where you sit at. You know, you gotta climb through the car. All fiberglass, the doors does not open. Look at them big tires. Very big tires. What size are these? Does it say 34 inch tire on a 17 inch rim? That is crazy. Just look. Very, very nice. No interior as usual. This is not a car. This car is just built just for racing. Only racing, you know? Guys, look at these speed racing boats. Very nice. Very nice. I didn't think they were gonna have any type of these speed racing boats here. 